the 37 Ford panel van from Ravel Monogram coming up next on What's in the Box. And no, it's not 496 anymore. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello, everybody. My name is Trevor Slescu, and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Tonight, we're going to look at another one of the kits in my collection, my personal collection. And this is Ravel Monogram's 1937 Ford panel delivery van. It was a super value at 496, but I'm not selling it for that anymore. No siree, Bob. And I'm not actually selling it, but we can look inside it. And that's what we're going to do next on what's in the box. So let's go down to our table and check it out. Special delivery, special delivery. 1937 Ford panel delivery van from Ravel Monogram. This kit originally came out in 1997. It wasn't really the most popular seller and uh, people ended up marking it down. That's why this says Super Value 496. Unfortunately, this is a really beautiful kit and it has had a few re-releases from Ravel Monogram. So let's just check out the original. And as we open the box here, you can see our infamous instruction sheet. Uh, I still have to build this. It's a very beautiful, beautiful model. It's a shame it didn't get the respect it deserved because this was a brand new tool back in the day. And it was one of the more accurate Ford flathead motors that came out in, in a kit. And here it is. And there's your underneath. And there's me letting go the instruction sheet. <laughs> the front suspension, which is also another wonderful Ford rendition of a front suspension, with the springs and the axle being separate from one another, which was unique for this type of model kit. And then your radiator and supports, and your interior with the independent little front, front seats. And it had an extra floor that dropped in for the van. Because I do believe this shares the undercarriage with the Ford pickup truck. And separate fenders, which is really a cool thing. And then our body. And in separate doors, which you could actually split in half and hinge if you're very, very good at that kind of thing. And a spare tire on the side. And of course you get a few different van options from the Olympic Laundry to the Ben-Hur Coffee and the Blawney Bubblegum Car. So now let's actually take a look at the decals in this kit. And I'll move this box out of the way. And look at those wonderful decals. The detail in them and the, the color key and it's very, very cool. Very, very nice. And now we'll look at the chrome. Very nice detail. Excellent uh, engraving. And the 37 trucks, actually the grills were very popular to put onto 32 Fords hot rods. So if you're looking for that kind of thing, there's your grill. Oh, then we have a surprise with that piece flying away. There's the van body with the indentation for your spare tire. And the opening for your doors. And we'll follow that up with our rubber tires. They give you five in this kit. One is your spare. These are also very really nice tires as they are brand new molding. Then we have your interior and the rear fenders. And you can see some nice, nice detail in the interior. Followed by your windows. And there is the frame and the fenders. 
and I don't know how well this will pick it up, but you can see that nice wood grain in the reflection there. And when you turn it over, you've also got some nice detailing there. And there's that front grill again. You know, if you wanted to build a bunch of Three Stooges type of models in a Three Stooge, Stooges world, you could substitute these decals that come with the kit for the Three Stooges ones from AMT. And then come up with some really funny things like that laundry company they started up. <laughs> but at any rate, there are your wheels and the drum brakes. And that's the actual wheels, so you can paint those as a steel press wheel. And they also give you a spare tire here, so you don't need to use the rubber one. And then we get into our hood. And note the detail there. Look at those louvers. Those are really, really a nice touch, especially with the Ford V8 emblem, which I believe is on the chrome tree. And here's our doors, which these are the back for the outside. And those are the inside, so you just have to split them down there and hinge them, you know, for your own custom. And there you go. And finally the seats, little jump seats. And it looks like someone started to glue the engine together, which is kind of a surprise to me because I don't remember doing that and that the part that fell on the floor is the bottom of the van <laughs> but that is our examination of the 37 Ford panel delivery super value 496 well we hope you enjoyed that episode of what's in the box where we looked at the 37 Ford panel van by Ravel monogram and now, if you'd like to see the other videos in our series of Monster Hobbies personal model car collection, please check it out here, here, and here. And don't forget to subscribe to us right down here so that we can continue to make these excellent model car box opening unboxing videos. And until then, we'll see you next time.